Hi everyone, it's Helen here and thank you for joining me for today's tutorial. So today we're going to be putting together the highly requested vanity case. So you can make two styles with this. Primarily the die set was designed for this box here, but you can adapt the lid to have it on the outside there. So that will be on a separate demonstration. Um, so here is the vanity case again you can put the lid sorry the, uh, the handle whatever you want and i've used a box latch here um, it's a bit stiff because it's a new one. Oh, that came off quite quickly there you go it must be getting exercised well and then inside we have these lovely dividers okay so here is the die set you get 15 elements you've got the dividers here and i'm just about to show you now the cutting guide I'll be using my brand new papers, which is the Vanity Collection papers, and this one there is my favourite, but I'm going to be using this one here today, so the pattern's further down because it's because the pattern's at the bottom of the papers. So, I'm going to put this here so I can show you what I've cut out. So, you're going to be needing one of these long ones, which is this one one of these ones here, which is this one, one each of those two, so I have those cut already, and one of those, one of those, and this is a layered, so I'll be easier if I actually show you what I physically cut out. So I have two of the stitched mats out of my patterned paper, and four of these ones here, and I'm using Creative Expressions in, I think it's called Stone, but there's a few different greys on the craft stash website where you can um, have a browse there um, I think that's it I've done a handle as well I have cut out an extra bit here but I'm thinking I might put another box latch on there because I just love the the box latches otherwise you can add that with a bit of velcro this the self adhesive one I'll show you which ones I use here we go these extra thin ones and I'll put a link for those down below as well so everything that I'm using today will be linked down below so let's jump straight into how to put this together super duper easy and straightforward so I've already added some uh, red double-sided tape here to the inside so I've got my good side on the outside and I have the inside here so that's where I'm putting in because when we add these around these parts here we're going to double layer it it's going to be nice and super strong and sturdy and I'll show you exactly how I'm going to do that so these thin ones here are going to be for the lid and these are going to be for the base so let's get these popped together first so I'm only going to put there's a two score lines here and two score lines here I'm only going to score or fold sorry it does all the scoring for you I'm only going to fold these two here so the ones with the flaps there don't fold those those are those are guidelines if you do fold those flaps here make sure that you fold you repeat it on the lid as well otherwise you're going to get a little bit of an odd shape like I did just here so it kind of it goes angular there and then that bit's round because I didn't copy that so it will make it look a little bit odd whereas here I've kept them I've kept everything smooth and unfolded so you don't have that angular shape so it's up to you whether you want to have the angular shape or not okay so all we have to do is just join these together just like that using the tabs so we get an object that's like that and then do the same on the lid as well going to use glue you can use tape as well if you want to just line everything up the best you can oops I bent that the wrong way there we go
Okay, so before I join these together, I just want to take off the backing tape. It's a lot easier to do that at this point. Just curve that round. go that is that one done do exactly the same for this one okay leave that aside this one has had a little bit of a chance to dry off now so let's poke all of those in there we go it's kind of like a little wagon isn't it okay now for our pieces so what I'm going to do is I'm going to turn it onto the side there depending on if you're left or right handed so I want this straight line here to go in first at, at a diagonal to match up with the matching flap just there I'm going to line that up first it helps to push that down just here in those corners and then just press that in line everything up <clears throat> there we go and then that should more or less fall into place where you can just push everything around just like that there we go that's the first one in and it should look like that on the other side hence why we have the next one that's why I cut four out so that's going to cover that one up so let's get that glued down this is um, Cosmic Shimmer in a squeezy bottle if you don't know what Cosmic Shimmer looks like in its ordinary bottle I am oh I was going to show you but I've taken the labels been taken off Sometimes at TV studios they don't like the labels to be on show so that label's been taken off. But anyway, it's in the description box below and I always buy the big bottle. I also love uh, the art glitter glue as well. This one dries clear and it's it's pretty much the same as um, the other one, Cosmic Shimmer. That also dries clear. It, it Basically they both dry really fast okay that is the first one done that's the base done okay so if you wanted I mean, I'm going to quickly demonstrate or word through it if you wanted to make the one with this box on the outside here before you pop this together add it around the center around the outline and then glue it closed while whilst it's still there and then you can lift it on and off however it wasn't designed for that because we wanted the um the lid to go flush with the top just like uh, for this set here so you will get a little bit of a gap but it is another option so you will get a little bit of extra area around the top but if you have any sort of trim now this is the this is the wrong sort of trim to go with that paper but uh, just as a demonstration you can cover that up um, even if it's just a trim like this and doesn't have pom-poms on if you're not into pom-poms but knock yourself out if you love pom-poms so you can quite easily add that around the perimeter there and that will cover any unsightly bits but yeah primarily um, the lid is supposed to go on like this so it's good to have the different options and have a play around anyway back to this one now and um, we're going to be doing exactly the same of what we've done with the lid so get everything popped in there we go i'm getting loads of ideas now on what i can make with this so i will probably be going live i think with some extra ideas i can think of two other things that I can make with this die set um, that's not a vanity case it's some two other things that are completely different from each other 
and I think I'm going to have to demonstrate that. I did have one idea, that's ready to go. Okay, here is my second idea. Everything's cut out, just need to make it, and that will be a tutorial as well. But now I've thought of a third idea, so yes, I'm going to have to make that into a tutorial as well. So I just need to find the perfect papers for that. You've got to get the papers right. Whenever I start a project, it's mostly inspired by the papers. Unless I have a specific thing I have to make. But, you know, with mini albums and things like that, I don't really even feel like making a mini album until I've decided or been inspired by the papers. That's always where it starts off. Okay, so there is that done. So this is the paper where all of the design is at the bottom and it's it's kind of like more plain up the top so it's a 12 by 12 and we're just going to glue that on and I do actually need to die cut one more piece I don't think I have it so I can quite easily grab out my big shot again this is going to be needing a large format die cutting machine or if you have the Sizzix normal big shot and you have the extended platform so it's long basically uh, these two pieces here are quite long it will fit on the extended platform if you have that too so um, it's basically for the length not the width okay so I'm going to die cut out now I did this off camera because I need to heat up my um, glue gun as well so where's my pin here it is hiding okay so I'm gonna cut out this this one just there and that is going to be my hinge and then I will be able to finish off the lid and pop the handle on okay so I've cut that out my glue gun is heating up just got it off here I'm using the Sizzix hot glue gun and I love it it doesn't drip it's fantastic not too much comes out it's just great and I'm using the stand as well which is really handy okay so here is my hinge and I'm going to fold it both ways just like that and I'm going to add double-sided tape to both tabs both ends And I'm also going to affix this on with some glue as well. Where are my special scissors? Here they are. I'm using the Tim Holtz scissors. They are... Is it Teflon or titanium? Anyway, it's non-stick. It just takes a lot longer for that stickiness to build up, so... It's a lot easier to use them. I need to get these in a smaller size, actually. Okay, press that down. I'm going to add it to the lid and I'm going to pop it on the outside. You can always cover this back bit here with some paper. And if you do want to, I didn't do it on that first one, but if you want to, you can just add a bit of glue just over that as well. That will give you um, a little bit more freedom when adding something super sticky to something, if you need to move it about. Plus, once it dries, it is super strong. So line everything up. give that a little bit of a press now I don't want to move this but I do need to kind of push that in a little bit so it sticks that's the good thing about having this bent and folded both ways so this bit here you've got to be super careful okay I'm going to leave that now 
aside to dry. So it does this funny thing here, but because it's a, I'm going to make a new, um, I don't even know what it's called. I guess it's some sort of like a support guide thing. Anyways, uh, I'll show you on this one. It's a really simple cut, so we don't need a die for it. It's just to make this lip here, and that helps the lid to guide on nicely. So there we go. I will put the measurements for what we're about to make in the description because we're going to cut a strip and we're also going to score it as well but I'll make sure those measurements are down in the description box. So grab the same coloured paper cardstock that the rest of the box is made from. Avalanche. Famous last words. I'll tidy that up later but yeah I will do if I want to go to sleep tonight. Okay, so we are going to cut this at three quarters of an inch by, I think it's 11. Let me double check that. Okay, so it's literally just the length of this. So that is oh, 11 and a quarter. Alternatively, you could just cut another one of these out and maybe trim a little bit off. Eleven and a quarter. I'm using the Fiskars Bypass Trimmer. It's my favourite trimmer in the whole wide world. It even cuts thick chipboard as well for mini album covers and really thin paper and it's uh, a self-sharpening rotary cutter blade as well so it's absolutely fantastic grab my scoreboard out let's hopefully it's not too bright sometimes it just goes a little funny okay so we're just going to score that at a half an inch and we're not even going to fold that that is basically our guideline so the whole thing goes on nice and straight and scissors there we go and to help this close even better so it doesn't get caught on these corners that stick up I'm just going to taper that off just like that and do the same on the other side there we go right now we're ready to pop this inside here so I am going to use some tape I do have some thin tape just to get me some instant stick would you keep that getting distracted here I'm a bit of a bag magpie would you keep that just from using the last little bit I mean I've got extra rolls here I've started a new one I think I'll keep it anyways let me know how we, what you would do in the comments down below um yeah I've dropped this on the floor a few times and I'm going to pop it on this way I guess it doesn't really matter which side you are using because it's not been through a machine. It's not going to have the the marks from the plate on one of the sides, so you're pretty good either side. And again, I'm going to add more glue here, just along here. Okay, and it's just going to go from this section here to that section there. So don't start in the middle, start on one end because it's exactly the same um, length that you need it to be. And again, use the, the score line as a guide. Okay, that has gone a little bit over. I think you'll be good to have that as uh, 11 inches, not 11 and a quarter, because I accidentally took into account the extra tab, I think. So I'm just gonna trim that off to make it look a little neater. There we go. Now that is going to support the lid when that sits 
on the top just like that isn't that looking lovely it's a little bit like those hat boxes i released last year as part of um the uh, the occasions collection that was quite nice okay so we're going to make a clasp now and add that okay so these are box latch or latch box um box latches i got these from amazon i will see if i can um, i bought these a couple of years ago but i'll see if they're they're still on there they should be they come in little packs so i'm going to need one of each now these are lovely you can use them on mini albums books boxes anything basically so i am going to be attaching this with glue so you only want to get glue where these holes are same for the other side as well because the middle bits um well basically they're they're a working mex uh, mechanism there so if you get glue there it's not going to work okay so as we're not using screws to put this in we are going to use a bit of tape let's find the hole there we are line everything up get everything straight how you want it to look when it's finally on your box just like that okay so grab some tape and then tape that in the right position just like that just keep checking that it's straight okay and then what we're going to do is pop that on there but I want to have um, mats here so I'm going to cut some more mats here I will leave the um, the sizes for that down below as well as a little cutting guide because you don't get the mats for these bits here so I'm going to choose some papers add the mats on measurements will be down below and then we'll be ready to pop on this latch here okay so here it is it's looking really nice now I've used a secondary piece of paper just to get that done I have some of the off cuts here this is the top half here so it's not completely white it does have some of the colors in there from the bottom patterns so i can then mat the back here with the more plain side okay so let's pop on that box latch now because my glue is definitely ready okay so make sure you get the orientation right so i have this coming down here with the buttony bit this bit here at the bottom you want it in that sort of position it's hard to see through the tape that's upside down so you want it like that okay i'm going to turn it over sideways and i'm going to add glue just to that one just to the either side there we go and then because i'm using the tape keep it the right way it is keeping everything in the right place and I have something to hold on to as well while I position this because these they're made of metal and the heat gun the heat from the hot glue has heated that up so I can feel that's quite hot it's heated the whole thing up okay so i'm going to leave that now just to set properly just press it down every now and then because th there are holes on there you may get a bit of glue just coming out the sides or through the top but we can just trim those off with a pair of scissors so i'm going to set that aside now just to dry so i'm going to work on the handle so here is the handle here so all we have to do is just fold those up these don't need um, a score line on there you can just do that um, because you have the choice here of whether you want them folded or not so we have something that now looks like that grab a bone folder my scissors are in the way and just curve that there we go that just helps that and then we can pop this just on there like that you can have it there or you can have it on the main section i think i'm for this one i'm going to pop it there because i already have one an example there with the um the handle on the top it would look good you know either way okay so once we've popped that on we can then quickly go with the dividers the dividers are optional 
You can even pop a little mirror on the inside of the, the lid as well or add a little pocket if you want to. I'm just going to hold that in place. Let's make sure everything's straight. Now using these lovely papers you really don't need to add anything else as decoration but if you really love that built up lacy and flowery look you can really decorate that with like pearl uh, strings of pearls and and all that sort of stuff so okay that is on so i'm gonna just take off the tape now for this latch fastening okay so that is going to come out sideways just like that it's it's a new latch so it's going to be a little bit stiff okay i haven't got too much glue coming out of the sides and now we have the center to deal with so i've cut one of the small the smaller ones and one of the larger ones these are really easy to pop in you simply just fold them grab the bone folder and then you fold out the edges just like that super easy and this is going to be the divider so make sure that you put on this bit on first before you do the dividers or otherwise you'll be picking things apart so I'm just going to add just a bit of glue just along the bottom there just to keep that closed do the same on the other one and then we can pop them in if you want to you can just do everything in one big swoop Okay, so this one here is going to go along the center and as you can see, it's going to glue either side. So add your glue to the tabs. Okay, so I'm gonna get the first one in first. The folds at the top and the two ends are at the bottom. So we have a nice neat finish at the top. So get this as central as you can. And press that down. This is gonna add a lot of sturdity to um, this box as well. It's really, really gonna be nice and sturdy now. Okay, so there is our first one in. Add glue to the second one. You can have it, choose to have it this side or the other side. go for this side is a little bit bigger so slide that in there we go this can be perfect if you're giving someone chocolates or other sort of knickknacks little bath supplies you can fit a bath bomb in one of those sections and if you wanted to have a lining at the bottom obviously put that in first use the mat for the top here use the die for that to do a, another one at the bottom make another one for the top and then pop this in and there we have our lovely vanity case isn't that beautiful pop that down and then we can close that there we go and that is our lovely little vanity case so i've got a lovely one there with the roses this one is using the papers from um my moving this is one using the papers from my moving pages uh, collection i absolutely love this one i'm going to give this one to my daughter because she loves anything colorful this one this is going to look good next to my things so that is how to put together the simply make crafts vanity case so if you like this one give me a thumbs up everything that i've used today will be listed down below and i've got plenty more ideas on what i can make with this die set too so make sure that you are subscribed down in the corner for some more ideas so thank you very much for joining me today and i'll see you again next time